Yes, all right, a hummingbird moth. I love these things. He landed in one of my garden phlox plants. Just got this. How sweet. <laughs> Hummingbird moths are members of the Sphinx moth family, Sphingidae. While most Sphinx moths fly at night, hummingbird moths fly during the day in a wide variety of habitats including forest edges, open meadows, and here in gardens, suburban gardens everywhere. They are part of the genus Hemerus, which include hummingbird hawk moths, Sphinx moths, the common clear wing hummingbird moth, the snowberry clear wing hummingbird moth, the five spotted hawk moth. and the white line sphinx moth. There are four kinds of hummingbird moths in North America. The two most prevalent are the snowberry clearwing and the hummingbird clearwing. The common clearwing hummingbird moth is olive black and has red brownish abdomen and light color, pale legs, maybe even reddish. And the snowberry clear wing hummingbird moth, which this one is, is yellow and black. They have black legs and they have a black line running through the eyes and then down the sides. It's called a dark lateral thorax stripe. Well, fun fact for you, the moths featured in the 1991 film Silence of the Lambs were death's head hawk moths. And for the movie, they were treated like celebrities. They were flown first class and had special living quarters and everything. A hummingbird moth's rapid wing beat can get up to 70 beats per second. Compared to hummingbirds, they can get up to 80 beats per second. Depending on the species, hummingbird moths can fly up to 12 miles per hour. The white-lined sphinx moths can fly 25 to 35 miles per hour if they want to. That's the similar speed to hummingbirds. Instead of a beak like a hummingbird, they have a long tongue-like proboscis that rolls out of its coiled tube to reach the nectar deep inside flowers. The hummingbird moths have large, somewhat menacing looking eyes and that helps warn off predators to keep their distance. Resembling close to that of a bird might also offer them a bit of protection as opposed to looking like a bug. Their length ranges from 2 to 2.5 two inches, whereas hummingbirds can grow up to 4 inches long. They're covered in hair that resembles feathers with white, rust, or brown markings or variations. Their wingspan ranges from 2 to 6 inches depending on the species. The moth has 6 legs and an antenna, while a hummingbird has 2 legs and a beak. They have a wide range in North America and can be found from Texas and Florida up to Maine and Alaska. They're also in Europe, Asia, and Africa. After mating, hummingbird moths lay their eggs on plants. The mature caterpillars are plump and yellowish green, or sometimes brownish, with a spiky tail horn typical of most sphinx moth caterpillars. Depending on the species, you'll find them eating leaves of honeysuckles, viburnums, snowberries, blueberries, and members of the rose family. They pupate in a thin cocoon in leaf litter where they remain during the cold months. And the moths will emerge from their chrysalis in spring just as hummingbirds are migrating back to their areas. To attract them, fill your gardens with native nectar-bearing plants. They love tube and horn-shaped blooms such as morning glories,
columbines. Petunias. Jasmine. We're watching one on my azaleas that they love. What a wonderful visit from a neat little friend. Till next time.